I am super excited to welcome Emma today, our first ever LUV ambassador. And we are kicking it off with kind of an interview series so that you guys can get to know these ambassadors, get to know their story and connect with them. So Emma and I actually connected back in early 2019. I think it's almost been a year now, which is crazy. Mm -hmm. Um. And it was back when I was just really working on a concept for LUV Low Ultraviolet. Um, I was trying to get ideas from the community and women such as Emma to kind of get insight into what they were looking for. Um, so a little insight, Emma is currently a sophomore in college working towards a degree in communications and digital studies, but it's I, digital studies, which I love to hear because that's what I majored in in school. Um, and, you know, Emma, when you kind of give us a little bit of background into yourself, feel free to dive into all this stuff. Um, but feel free to go ahead and start us out by giving us a little background on you. Yeah, so um, I'm a sophomore in college right now. Um, I was diagnosed with melanoma last year, last August, actually, uh, when I was 18. Um, and it was actually during my second week of college that we found out, which was, you know, a little startling, I guess. <laughs> um, but, yeah. Yeah, I'm sure. I mean, the second week of, po of college, like, I'm thinking through, you're just trying to meet right. new friends. Figure I'm out learning your how to make dinner for myself, meet new people, and I also have to go to the doctor three times a week. So yeah. it was definitely a lot, Yeah. Yeah, no, absolutely. And being 18 as well, like that's one of the reasons we really connected when we first did because right. I had my first instance when I was 21. So I was a little bit older than you. And mm -hmm. I felt the same way. I'm like, this is not what a normal college age yeah. student should be having to deal with. But here it is. Right. And that's just life sometimes, you know, but it, it's definitely helpful to find people around your age or people who experience the same thing because they kind of know what you're going through and how you feel about everything. So that was definitely nice. Yeah, definitely. Support is a huge thing. And that's something I always try and tell people is like, find your community. So really, who did you turn for support then? I talked a lot to, you know, my family, of course, and a lot of my new friends that I had just met, which I'm sure was kind of overwhelming for them too. But they helped me through a lot of it. And my roommate and everybody. Um, luckily, I go to school like 30 minutes from my family. So I was able to sleep at home and then come to class and get lunch with my friends so that was all really nice and everyone was super supportive and helpful the whole time so that was great yeah no that's awesome to find that support system so then you were diagnosed at 18 what what does the past year look like for you um it's been a lot of uh biopsies and dermatologist visits um checkups i have a skin graft so i have to go see my plastic surgeon every now and then just to make sure it all looks okay. Um, yeah, and then wearing a lot of sunscreen, and yeah. I love the beach, and I love, I'm a swimmer, so it's been also a lot of finding new ways to do those outdoorsy things that I like to do, especially this past summer. Um, so yeah, just a lot of new stuff, but yeah. working around it. <laughs> yeah, no, definitely. I remember as clear as day, remembering all these ways that you took caution into your life. Like I remember, I, I've never been a big sun person because I have very fair skin. Um, my family is Irish, so I could never really stand out in the sun. But there were so many things that I didn't know, like when you're in a car and how the sun rays yeah. in the car, I, I had no idea. It's crazy. I've definitely learned a lot that I had no clue about. Yeah. Yeah. I think um, when it comes to skin cancer, there's a lot of misinformation that spreads or just a lack of information in right. general and um, I think especially for people closer to our age you know because it's not really in everyone's mind it's kind of something that older people always deal with so for our age it's not really skin cancer awareness isn't really targeted towards younger people mm -hmm. which I think is definitely an issue yeah, which is crazy when you think about because if you look at the stats and the studies, like right. her people are the ones doing the damage that impacts them when they get older. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, so I wonder, is there a certain myth that really stands out to you that you think you hear from people all the time that you want to debunk? I think definitely the myth that it will only affect you when you get older. Mm -hmm. 
I know from experience, like younger people kind of just think you're invincible right now and nothing can touch me right now. And that's an issue for later in life me. Um, I was definitely shocked when I found out I had skin cancer because I didn't think an 18 year old could get melanoma, yeah. um, but they definitely can. So I think that's something that younger people need to be made aware of is that you can get skin cancer now just as much as you can get it when you're older. Mm -hmm. And I think with that awareness, there also comes an abundance of caution. You know, if younger people know what to be looking out for, how many cases can you solve from happening later down the line? Yeah, definitely. That's a big thing that I see all the time. You know, I'm a part of Facebook groups and like community groups, um, Mm -hmm. because as we were talking about before, support is key. And that's one of the things I saw that their first instant when they went to the doctor, it was already very far along. Mm-hmm. And it just, it breaks my heart hearing those stories because yes, skin cancer is hard, but it's also one of the most preventable diseases. 100%. Yep. And it was, I don't know, it's just kind of frustrating because I wish I had gone sooner, but you know, there's nothing I could do now except for try and make other people aware and encourage them to go and take their kids and mm-hmm. everything like that. Yeah, exactly. You don't know what you don't know. So now <laughs> use your, your story to yeah. tell other people so that they know. Mm-hmm. Definitely. So when you think about skin sun safety tips, so what is something that you do now that you think the audience should do as well? Uh, I would say sunscreen, even when I'm not intending to go to the beach or to the pool or really just like in the sun. Anytime I go outside, I just put on sunscreen on my face, on my shoulders, if I'm wearing a short sleeve Um, stuff like that because you're always in the sun even if you're not thinking you're getting sun damage you always are so yeah just more cognizant about that now yeah that's definitely the the sun that you get when you don't realize it I think it's like the most dangerous out there and you know that's what we're working towards at LUV is like you have items and articles of clothing that you can wear and feel protected and you don't have to worry about it definitely and that's my other thing is like protective clothing I have so much more than I I had never really worn rash guards and stuff, but this whole summer I was wearing them and trying to find cute ones. So there's a lot out there. You just have to look. (laughs) That was the first thing we ever talked about was trying to find cute rash guards. (laughs) (laughs) Because I love the beach and I love the pool and I love wearing swimsuits, but I just kind of had to switch that up. So I found a lot of cute stuff this summer, which was good. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's awesome. And hopefully, you know, as LUV expands, we continue to talk to women such as yourself to hear what they want so that we're giving younger women items that they feel good in that they don't have to search like 50 different retailers to find one thing that's cute and not like $500. Right. That's the other thing. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Oh my gosh, Emma, this has been so good. Is there anything else that you want the audience to know? I don't think so. Just pay attention, be cognizant, be aware. And that's all. (laughs)